All right, everybody, so welcome to the channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in cinematic FPV drones. Drones that you can fly to get shots like this. So I've been flying FPV drones for about eight months now, and I can honestly say it's one of the most fun things that I've ever done. It's actually like flying. When you have the goggles in and you're flying the drones, you actually feel like you're there in the sky. And the shots that you can get with them are unbelievable. The problem is there's so much information out there, and there's so many different ways that you can go. You can get this setup, this setup, this setup, this antenna, this drone. Um, this receiver, this radio, there's so much information out there, it can be pretty intimidating to sift through it all. In the beginning, people like Joshua Bardwell, Mr. Steele, Ladrib, all helped me a ton when I was first starting out and just learning about it. So initially, I built a drone. It took me about two months to actually get all the parts and put it together and everything, and naturally, I crashed the shit out of it. And I enjoyed the build process, but coming from the filmmaking world, I really just wanted to pilot it. Um, as much as I liked putting wires together and doing a bit of soldering and stuff like that, like I just wanted to get a drone in the air as fast as possible. I wanted something that was easy to set up, super durable, and I could just get in the air right away. And I believe after all this time, I've finally found the perfect setup. This setup that I found is easy to set up. It requires no soldering, um, and you can pretty much be in the air flying within like 20 minutes of getting it. And that is the TBS Oblivion. So this drone is the exact drone that I filmed all of these videos with. So not only is it super easy for beginners, um, it's also like a professional cinematic FPV drone that you can get some crazy shots with. I've done a beginner FPV tutorial in the past, uh, but I didn't get super into depth about the Oblivion itself. So in this video, I am going to get into detail about exactly how to set it up. But if you want some more background on FPV, um, about like simulators and different things you can do before you actually buy a drone, just check this video somewhere around here. But let's get into it. I'm gonna go over exactly what you need and how to set up the Oblivion. All right guys, so coming on here, first of all, the site that I would recommend the order from is Get FPV. Um, the reason being they're US based, their customer service is really good, um, and I've just had a really good experience with them. Coming down to the gear that you're going to need. So first of all, you're gonna need a remote, and the remote that you wanna get is a TBS Tango. Um, the drone that you wanna get is the TBS Oblivion plug and play five inch quadcopter. And then these two things here are basically how the controller communicates with the drone. This plugs into the controller and this little board you just wire up to the drone and that will make sure that these two can communicate. So this is all that you really need for the drone itself. Of course you're going to need batteries. On Get FPV, the batteries are actually kind of expensive, so I would recommend coming over to Amazon and ordering these ones. I've had good experiences with these ones. Um, they are about 40 bucks, and I think one is around the same price on Get FPV. So I would just come to Amazon. Um, I'll link these down in the description. And then a couple other optional things that you can get. So these antennas, the SMA ones from Triumph, these are just a bit of an upgrade, so the stock antenna isn't the absolute best you can get, so I would recommend getting these, but you don't need them. And then you'll also need a balance charger, and I would recommend getting one of these. Um, currently on GetFPV, they're back-ordered, so I would maybe just go to Amazon and try and find a similar charger. Um, and then the only other thing that I would recommend if you're going to do goggles are the Fat Shark Dominator HDO2s. If you're gonna get into the hobby and you're super serious about it, I would just recommend getting some nice ones to begin with. Um, but I have a lot more on goggles in my other FPV video, which again is linked in the description. I'm not gonna be going too into goggles into this video, mainly the drone, but I would recommend these ones. And that is pretty much all you need. So for the necessities, um, basically it's under $600, which is really dope. 
So the cool thing about the Tango remote, which is right here, is there's actually a screen right on the remote. So while you're starting and you're just trying to figure out like if this is something that you want to pursue, you don't actually have to drop $500 on goggles and you can just fly from the screen. And by the way, if you guys are going to order any of the stuff below, I would really appreciate it if you use the links in the description. They're affiliate links, so I get a little small commission of each sale. So if you want to support the channel, I would really appreciate that. So as soon as the drone arrives, this is what you're going to get. This is the box that the Oblivion comes in, and then you got your Tango, and then you have your Crossfire Micro, and then in this little bag here comes the actual board itself. So I'm gonna switch the camera over to a view of my table and show you exactly how to set it up. All right, so when you first open the drone, this is what you are going to get. Open it up and obviously <laughs> the actual drone is going to be inside. I've already got the props on this one and everything, but you're gonna have to put the propellers on. So what comes with this is all a bunch of little things that are really confusing and there's a ton of them. But you're gonna get some props. You are also going to get some tools to put the props on. I don't feel like I have to go super in depth about that. Um, it's pretty easy, this just clamps the actual motors and then you can screw the propellers on. Just make sure that they're the right direction. Um, you can watch videos about how to make sure they're in the right direction. But other than that, you get your props, you got your tools, and you have these little shell things. So you have this one as well as another one that you can mount a GoPro on. But for now, you're going to want to leave the drone just like this, as it is. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open up this bag. So this is the actual thing that goes on your drone and will communicate with the radio. And basically what this is, is just an antenna. So that is already pre-built on, so you can just leave that there. And then in the bag, you're going to have a couple different wires. So you're going to have one wire that looks like this, and then one that looks like this. This actually had five wires going in between it before, but you're gonna be taking two off in a second. I've already taken them off, so they're not there, but I'm gonna explain that in a minute. So essentially, what you need to do is take this first cord. So how you can tell the difference is this cord has two different sized ports, and basically you wanna plug the big port into this side of the micro receiver. So plug that in. And then after that, we can get into this little cord. So like I said, this usually has five cords going in between it, but you're gonna be taking two of them out just because you don't need them. So I've already taken them out, but I'm basically just gonna do a little macro shot and show you how to get rid of them. Cool, so I've plugged one of these back in just for now for demonstration purposes. So what you can see is it has these little pins. So what you do is you just take a little clothes pin or something and essentially just pop these pins up. So get it in there, pop these pins up and it unlocks the cord and allows you to go boom and just pull it out. And you gotta be careful on which side you pull the pins. So the pins that you pull, just make sure that they're aligned like this, so that you have three still going on this side. You can tell the difference between this side is solid plastic, this side has these pins. So make sure you have three of them on this side. So pull them out on this side and then go over to the other side and do the same. All right, so now we are back to the board itself. And what you do now is you just plug one of these ends into this side of the board. So plug that there. And now it's time to plug this into the actual quad itself. All right, so now we are actually focused on the quad itself. Basically, this is what you're left with. Um, you got the antenna coming out of this side and then the two ports coming out here. So this smaller port with only four cords going into it, Plug it into this port here. It takes, it's a little tricky just because like leverage, but just come in here and boom, plug that in. And now this port here, right there, 
You're gonna wanna plug that one into this port right there. Okay, so now you can see that cord is now plugged in here. With this antenna, the way that you thread that through is you actually just come around here. Okay, you just gotta thread this clear part through a tiny little gap down in there. Come under the bottom and then pull that as far as you can until you get this second antenna. So there is that second antenna. And now, super simple. Okay, so I'm just threading this, boom, through that. Comes out underneath this tape and just sticks out there. Then you come around to the black one and you just do the same thing. So I'm gonna bend the end, get it underneath this little plastic piece, and then same as the other side, we're just going to go underneath this electrical tape. Boom, just like that. Cool, so now looking at the other side, this is what you are left with. Um, and basically what you wanna do is just sort of get this to fit as best you can. Kinda tuck these cords, um, make it as neat as you can. And even if you wanna like put some electrical tape right there, that would also be a good idea as well and just tape it up. But for now, I'm gonna leave this out and actually bind it with the controller. All right, so coming to the controller, the back section is totally open. So you wanna come in here, get your Crossfire Micro, screw this antenna on, make sure the antenna is on and plug it in. Similarly with your drone, um, your drone is gonna come with this little antenna, so you wanna plug this antenna onto your drone. You're gonna have that antenna. I actually have this different antenna. I've found the range is a little bit better with it. So screw that onto the drone, like so. Boom, grab your batteries, plug the drone in, and you'll see it power up. You'll get this red light on this system. And then power up your controller, which you just hold this button for. Boom, and my drone is already linked, but yours won't be, and this light is most likely going to be red on this receiver. So what you do to bind them is you first come around here, and this is probably going to be orange or something, so you just tap it, and it should start flashing green. And then over here on this board, you press this little button here, can show you. There's this little bind button, so press that. And then this is going to turn blue and start flashing. Then all you gotta do is press again, and basically that's just, the blue means it's linking and updating the boards. And then once your boards are linked, that's pretty much it. Your drone is now officially linked with your controller. And to be honest, you should not have the propellers on when you go through this step. Um, <laughs> random shit happens where the propellers just turn on. So throughout this whole process, you should definitely not do what I did and keep the propellers on. But at this point, your drone is now linked to your controller. So all you have to do next, I'm going to unplug this because this is actually pretty sketchy. All you have to do next is take the top part and actually screw it on to the drone itself. When you're first flying, I'd recommend flying with this. It's just like a non GoPro mount top. Um, it's a little bit more durable and it just, I don't know, it's easy. Um, I would just put this on. So you, what you do is you just wrap this around, kind of tuck everything neatly inside and then screw it up with these screws here. And what you need to do those screws is just a Allen wrench like this. So screw the top on. And I actually have another drone that I already have the top on, so I'm just gonna show you with that one. Cool, so here is the drone with the GoPro mount already attached. And as you can see, it's just this little T-mount. And essentially, what you wanna do when you actually wanna film with your GoPro is you take these mounts that come in the box and you just set them on here, like so. And you strap your GoPro on the top of it. Coming down to the bottom, this is actually going to be detached when you first get it. So, 
All you have to do is find the right strap in the box and strap this on. And this is actually where your battery goes. So when I do plug this drone in, all that happens is I plug the battery in here and then slide it underneath this and the drone kind of just looks like this when it has the battery on. All right guys, so past that, you have a fully functioning FPV drone. Before you go out and fly, if this is really your first time flying, I would recommend going and checking out this video that I did. In this video, I walk you through exactly how to get started, like which simulator you should buy, um, how much time you should put in on the simulator, and a bunch of other details about actually flying the FPV drone. And then in this video as well, I get a lot more in depth about goggles, um, which is definitely a big topic when it gets to FPV. So if you are actually starting to get into it, definitely go check this video out. But that does it for this video. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and I will see you on the next one.